Welcome to my garden of otherworldly delights. A job's a job, and yours is to terrorize and torment. So, get in and let's get cracking. A bevy of charms and abilities reside at your disposal with which you may scare and wreak havoc. Conserve if you can, Ghosty, for your psychokinetic energy is a precious commodity. You must cool down quickly, or your powers will not work, including your ectovision. A Ghosty's most important resource is psychokinetic energy. Use it wisely. It'll take a bit of time to get the old juices flowing again once you've run out, so be mindful of draining your energy. Keep one eye on your meter, and you won't get caught on a full moon with your knickers down. Savvy? of cowards. Behold! All around you is a world of possessibility. Use every object you can to duck, dodge, and wait for the perfect opportunity to spring your spectral trap on the unsuspecting living. If one of those egregious ghost hunters is nearby, possess an object to hide. While your energy recharges inside a possessable object, be wary. Your recharge rate will suffer if you move the object why don't you try possessing something now? One of the more invigorating features in your cabinet of curiosities is the ability to phase. You'll be flying at high speeds from one end of the map to the other before you can say Jack Robinson, who I met by the way. Respawning from rifts is key, so pay attention. If a ruddy ghostbuster gets you by the gills while a rift is active, you will respawn at the rift. However, this destroys the damn thing from further use. There are three rifts available to you hidden inside artifacts, so act accordingly. Those 
bastards will try to eliminate these rifts, limiting your methods of escape. Fear not. You can retrieve and hide these rifts throughout the map to send your opponents into the life of his... A full location haunting starts with teeny tiny baby steps. Try individually haunting different rooms to increase your power, allowing for faster energy regeneration. Civvies and busters alike are easily scared in these predicaments, and if you see a floating brolly, that's because the rooms in these rooms begin haunting themselves, in turn creating a diversion, allowing you, ghosty, to hide. You can actively haunt objects too, but why waste the energy, I say? All right, all right, enough preamble. Let's get to the good stuff. Horror vacation. As an otherworldly, albeit temporary, spirit, you are denied so many earthly pleasures. Therefore, we must fill the void with other exquisite delights. That's right. Scaring the pants of anything that moves. Try it and let me know how it goes.
The best defense is a strong offense. Or is it the other way around? Either way, these next quarrels. Face to face. But as you and I love ectoplasm and everything to do with it, the living can't stand it. Literally, cover them with enough and they won't be able to stand at all. by the power of the dreaded electric lasso. Then you must fight your way out. Use your ability should you see no other option, but I counsel you to flee. Beware their tethers will create great resistance, so fight! Fight, damn you, against the pool, and you will exasperate the tether and earn your freedom! Despite all the maneuvering, be siege in the final fatal capture. Find your way back to me, so that I might imbue you with the power to haunt once more. Kid, you still with us? You look like you saw a ghost. I know it's the job, but still, you look scorched. Call me delusional, but I, I wager there's more to this book than meets the eye. But don't worry. You and I are gonna figure it out. Anyway, we best head back to the firehouse for now. <laughs> 